when the court declined to grant the application for amendment, the court did not give its reasons, and therefore it is not right for the respondents to anticipate court's reasons for declining to grant. It was not right uh, to anticipate the court's reasons for declining to grant the application, and therefore, and to argue as they did. The Attorney General who was opposing the, uh, the application, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll skip this. Um, the applicant's counsel was cognizant of the constitutional mandate requirement for this court constitutional obligation to give its findings and decision within 45 days under Article 1043 of the Constitution. In his submissions, counsel for the applicant was ready to concede two days of their rejoinder to the respondents cognizant of the mandate of Article 104 and Section 1593 of the Act. Indeed, it is true that the enlargement of time for the application to file additional evidence would have had an impact on the roadmap, which had been released earlier and which had and which would require the resp and would require the respondents to file additional affidavits in rejoinder of any new matters not taken care of in their affidavits in the affidavits they had filed earlier. But while this is so, the respondents, and indeed the majority, opted to ignore the fact that when these provisions were enacted and the Constitution was promulgated and amended, no one envisioned a situation where a president-elect, who is also the incumbent president, would act through the various organs of state under his control and incapacitate an aggrieved candidate by restricting his movements for 10 days. Therefore, courts should have been cognizant of the fact that Article uh, while Article 1043 of the Constitution and Section 593 of the Presidential Elections Act required courts to declare its findings within 45 days from the date a petition is filed, this requirement did not impose on the court a duty to ignore the unconstitutional and unlawful acts as declared by the High Court to the detriment of the applicant. The restrictions of the movement on the movement of the applicant as pleaded in his affidavit were com and as confirmed by court more than constituted the special circumstances which were envisaged under Rule 17 of the Presidential Elections Rules. It is my firm view that the court could have allowed the application to file additional evidence which was ready on the morning of the 15th February 2021 when the deadline for filing was 5 p.m. on 14th February 2021. The applicant partially complied by filing part of evidence on that date. Even if they were not able to file the rest by 5 p.m., the fact that they were ready with it on Tuesday, 15th, confirms the applicant and his counsel's averments in their respective averments that the other volumes were ready. I take judicial notice of the fact that the country is under curfew and the time of the deadline of 5 p.m. Uh, on 14th, the time between the, uh, the deadline of 5 p.m. on the 14th and curfew time of 9 p.m. would not have been sufficient for the applicant and his counsel to produce the number of affidavits in the volumes required. On directory conduct, um, there is a long-standing principle that has been upheld by numerous decisions of this court that mistakes of counsel should not be visited on their client. 